This week, a study confirmed the methane gas leak in Porter Ranch, California, was the largest in U.S. history. More than 100,000 tons of methane leaked before it was capped. The people who live there have been told it is safe to return home, but as Carter Evans reports, many are still skeptical. Or you guys can play for a minute while I unpack a couple of things. Sandy Crawford has been trying to make this hotel room feel like home for more than a month. Are you going to play with me or not? Her family, like so many others, was elated when officials last week declared the crisis over. The leak in the Liso Canyon storage field is permanently sealed. When you drove back into the neighborhood, could you smell the gas? No, couldn't smell it. I was hopeful. I thought we were good. But within hours of returning home, Crawford says her youngest son had trouble breathing again and worse. I looked at him and there's just blood down his face. I put it on our Facebook group for Porter Ranch and the parents are just, everyone's coming and saying we're having the same problems. Our kids are having the same issues. Crawford says she had no choice but to move back to the hotel. When you left, did all of those symptoms go away? 100%. Late this week, a Los Angeles judge ordered Southern California Gas to pay three more weeks of hotel bills to residents like Crawford. The gas company says that will cost $2 million a day and is appealing the ruling, saying the air quality in the area has never posed any long-term health risk, and with the leak gone, related symptoms should be gone. What do you think is contaminated that's causing this? I believe there's something in our house. I don't know if it's the air inside of our house because we've tried to air it out. I don't know if it's in our mattresses or the drapes. I don't know what it is. I want to be home. We want to be home. Our kids want to be home playing with their games and toys and living our normal life. For now, it's anything but normal. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.